hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, windows form and uh, today i'm going to show you how to delete uh, row from data grid view so first of all add a data grid view on your uh, windows form uh, looking like that and just i want to bind that data grid view uh, using the binding list uh, in uh, windows form using entity framework core so first of all you can add uh, first of all you can bind it uh, just you can say uh, bind data grid view okay so uh, there is a simple thing okay and uh, you you have to add a binding list binding list and binding list we have a model uh, under that section model dot tt that is the song table you can say so you can add it here song table and song table actually uh, exists in a database table you can say so songs equals to new binding list okay that's pretty simple in visual studio 2022 okay uh, and after that you can add a context class that is exist in your songs db entity 3 so songs oops oops song db entity 3 that is your context class equals to new song db entity 3 okay after that you get got the values where uh, songs list equals to context dot song tables dot to list okay and after that you can use for each loop collection is songs list and one by one you can add that songs in the songs dot add item okay so your uh, binding list is uh, adds uh, uh, have some items and after that you can uh, bind that data grid view one dot uh, data source equals to songs okay so there is songs okay so uh, your data grid view with uh, bind with the songs items so in the songs we have two items in the database table there is and just I want to uh, delete uh, your uh, items from the data grid view by using the right click so just you have to add a context just add a context menu there is the context menu is appeared in the bottom bar of your window and also in the menu strips so you can add a delete row you can say delete complete row okay so just click and go to the properties and in the event you have to say mouse up sorry uh, in the in the context menu you have to say click just I want to click there is the click event mouse context menu strip dot click and just I want to delete a row from the grid uh, from the data grid view so oops data grid view one dot rows dot remove it and in which you can pass the index value so this dot row index uh, row index is actually assigned with the values so initial uh, initial with the value private row index equals to 0 
show partial fixes the name row index does not exist in the current oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. partial integer index row index is zero so this dot row index and just i want to here is your data grid view and you can call mouse up event here is a mouse event so mouse enter mouse up event just click on it and check which button is pressed first of all like the right button you want to e dot button e dot button is double equals to mouse mouse buttons dot right click just i want to write so data grid view data grid view one dot rows and which row e dot row index oops dot selected equals to true oops mouse event arguments is uh, it's not actually mouse uh, data grid view one dot uh, mouse up object center mouse event arguments not mouse event argument you can say data data grid view cell mouse event arguments and you can pass it here data grid view cell mouse event arguments e so after that you can code the row index uh, that uh, event actually uh, hold the mouse as well as your data grid view so data grid view cell mouse event arguments you can pass it here okay and after that initialize row index what is e dot row index and data grid view one data grid view one dot current cell equals to data grid view one dot rows row index dot cells is one oops i mean to say that just define your data grid view one dot current cell and that is the current cell is one okay so just after that you have to open your data grid view as context menu so this dot context menu one menu strip one dot show and in which you can pass data grid view one e dot location and after that contest menu strip one dot show and in which you can pass cursor position cursor dot position okay so just after that uh, first of all uh, you note not that 
first of all uh, bind that your uh, data grid view with the uh, binding list and here we have a binding list and add that item in the binding list uh, so first of all get that item from that uh, from the database uh, using that context class using your context class so after adding that item into the uh, binding list bind that data grid view with your binding list that is the uh, function and after that just right click on your uh, selected first of all when you right click on your uh, row any row so just move mouse up button uh, mouse up event is clear and button is right clicking on it so just mouse button is right click so data grid view one dot row dot uh, is selected is true so a selected row a row uh, which row is that is defined by the row index so uh, is selected after row index is assigned with the row index that is the selected and uh, data grid view one dot current cell is what current cell is defined by the data grid view one dot rows dot cells number one okay and show the context menu with the data grid view and e dot location and uh, also that context menu strip is show with the cursor dot position okay that is defined by the e dot location okay so uh, with that delete row items so just you can see that oops okay 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 So you can just pass your data grid view. Okay, okay, okay. That is your mouse up. Uh, okay, okay. That is the cell mouse up is event is uh, clear call. Okay, uh, rather than your uh, mouse up, that is the cell mouse up event. So just cut and paste it here. Okay, start it again. So first of all uh, select that row and you can go to that delete row messages and delete that row thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to windows form and please clear that uh, that is the cell mouse up event is there in in your uh, data grid view so data grid view dot cell mouse event argument is got it in the uh, cell mouse up instead of mouse up thank you very much